Hi folks, today is Monday, 5-11th, and we are going to do a gentle flow, opening your sides and opening your chest. I want to remind folks, we have a neutral spine. The hips are soft, moving back, and so we don't want to tuck the tail, right? We want this long, strong belly, long, strong back. And I do this in almost everything I do, okay, in my flow series. Um, even when I'm sitting on the floor. So if you need a block or a pillow to put under your bum, do that. So we are going to start seated. And you can be in a chair or the floor, okay, if you want to do the chair. I'm going to put my right foot in front of my left. And I'm going to tip forward, making sure I'm on the base of my pelvis, not on um, the back of my pelvis. So my belly's long, my back is strong. I'm bringing my hands to my heart, right? Take a breath in and take a breath out. Since I think all of us don't know what each day brings, right? We never do, but in this time we really don't know. Every morning when you awake, it's a good day. And we'll hear something new, right? And we'll be positive, right? So as you inhale, bring your fingers and your palms together and your elbows together. As you exhale, move your palms apart and your elbows out. I call these globe hands as I go back out. And I'm trying to move with my breath. So I inhale up. I exhale down. I inhale up and I exhale down. And I'd like you to do five more with your own breath. When you reach that fifth one, you have globe hands and elbows are out, hands away from the body and you're up tall. An awareness of your shoulders. Bring them up to your ears and slide them down your back. But I'm not, I am not squeezing my shoulder blades together. I'm just feeling the mobility of the humerus in the shoulder socket and the mobility of the scapula right? Your shoulder blades, you can feel them lift and lower. Your scapulas do so many different motions. They retract, protract. They rotate. Now, shoulders stay down and back. Take a breath in. Hands down and just tick-tock the head. So kind of awaken the body for the flow that we will do because this is a vinyasa flow. Now bring your head to neutral, take a breath in, hands at your heart, and see if you can just tip forward, place your hands, and then swivel your legs around so you're in a table position. And what I'd like you to do is find neutral, so I'm not forcing a curve. I pull my ribs in and I'm in a neutral position, okay? Arms are strong. I am going to take my left leg behind me. So I'm gonna start with a stretch. And then I'm gonna bring it down, come up onto my left fingertips, lift it out to the side. Now kick the leg out, turn your toes slightly up and put the heel on the floor and now you're going to pulse back and you're going to feel a stretch in your hamstring that's your left hamstring keep your toes up and your hips now i'm going to leave it back and i'm going to swivel my left arm out and if you can grab the toes or the inside of the foot push the foot into the hand but pull back and feel that hamstring stretch. I'm tipping forward from my hip, not from my lower back, and I'm seeing my right hip back towards my heel. I'm pushing my left foot into my hand. 
Stay for five breaths. Now, mindfully, release, put your left fingertips down, put your hands flat, bend the leg, and bring it back. And that's your little bit of hamstring and hip opener. Now, take a breath in. I'm going to lift my right foot up. Okay, take a breath in. Pull the right knee in and shift back. Now, lift side, come up onto your right fingertips. Kick the leg out and put the heel down. Toes are kind of turned up. And then I'm going to pulse back to start. So I'm going to try to feel the stretch in the hamstring and a little bit of move, opening in the hip. Now I'm going to hold it back. Take your right hand. See if you can grab the big toe or the base of the foot. Come up onto your fingertips. Push the foot into the hand, but pull back and then bow into this and you'll feel a stretch into your glutes and your hamstrings and you're staying five. Push your right foot into your right hand, but yet pull back. Four, three, two, and one. Take a breath in. Come back to right fingertips, flat hands. Lift the foot and put it back down. So take your feet shoulder width, take a breath in, take a breath out, put your toes together and sink back. Okay, and then I'm just gonna come to my elbows and then I'm going to have the low bands but place my hands or my forehead on my thumbs. And I'm gonna breathe into my hips and keep that curve in my back for five, Feel this deep into your hip creases. You can pulse, which means I'm rocking back and forth. Then right from here, I'm going to come back up to my table, globe hands to flat hands, arms up. Tuck your toes and come to a crouching cat. I push my knees up, have the curve in my back. And I want you to shift weight back and forward and forward and forward, and forward, and forward, and forward, forward. Couple more. Now I'm gonna leave it back. Okay, find the length, dangle your head, find space around your ears, and then walk your heels out. So I'm walking my heels out softly, Now press the heels down, take a breath in. Look between your hands. Okay, I'm gonna lift my right hand, step my right foot forward, my left foot forward, hands on my knees. Take a breath, please. Lift your 10 toes off the floor, and as you hinge forward, 10 toes down, weight in the ball of the foot. Inhale, lift yourself up, 10 toes off the floor. Exhale, lean forward, weight in the ball of the foot. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. And we're going to go two more. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. And again, I'm lifting my toes when I come up. Toes down. One more time, lift up. Stay here, put your toes down. Use your back strength. Inhale, come up and exhale through heart center. So you can see, I come up, I'm in this neutral spine. I'm not here, but I'm nice and long and strong. Inhale, reach up through the green zone, grab your right wrist and lean and look down. Inhale, come up and grab this time your left wrist. Inhale, come up. Exhale, plant your hands, hinge forward. Now as you come up, lift your toes. 
Now go deeper, hands back. Maybe you want to interlace your fingers. And then inhale with a flat, strong back, come up. And exhale right to center. Try that again. Inhale in the green zone. Right wrist, lean and look. Soften the knees. Now, left wrist, lean and look. Take your time. Inhale, come up. Exhale, place the hands. Hinge. Now, as I push into my hands, I lift my ten toes. But then as I go back down, I might interlace my finger, the weights on the ball of the foot. And then I inhale, sweep all the way up. And then I exhale right through center. Let's do one more. Inhale, green zone. Grabbing the wrist, look to the left. Grabbing that right wrist. Inhale back to center. Grab that left wrist, look. Come back to center. Exhale, I'm hinging, placing my hands. Now I'm inhaling, looking up, picking up my 10 toes. Place your 10 toes, hands behind you. Pull yourself up. Inhale, come up. And we're going to go right back down to a flow. Exhale, down. Inhale, look forward and up. I'm going to bend my knees, plant my hands, and I come to a plank. And it's Yogi's choice. When I do plank, I do push through my shoulders, but I don't want to see this. I want to see your neutral spine. My belly's pulled in, and I'm nice and strong. Okay, I'm going to drop to my knees, and I'm going to put my ribs and my chin on the floor. And I'm going to tap my, the floor with my toes, hug my elbows in, and breathe. Now I'm going to push with my toes, pull with my hands, and I'm going to push up to a baby cobra and maybe bring my arms back. Draw your chin in for a long neck and breathe. Now tuck your toes, keep your knees on the floor if you need to modify, plant your hands. Bring your third eye to the floor, your forehead. Push up and find that crouching cat again. See if you can find that crouching cat. My feet are about mat width. I try to find the curve. I do push and lift my hips and I breathe into this. Stay with your breath. Now find your down dog. So I just press back into my heels. Now I'm going to find my crouching cat again. I'm going to lift my left hand and my left foot is coming out to kind of the corner like a runner's lunge and I'm going to put my knee down. That's right knee. And then I inhale, come up and exhale. Inhale here and exhale down. Now I'm going to move my hips back. Okay, breathe into this. I'm going to place left fingertips on the floor, right hand out, and I'm going to pulse forward and back. So I'm going to the pull foot and then pulling the toes back. Three, and pulling back. Four, and pulling back. One more. Five, pull back. Now lean into that leg. Okay and bring yourself back up. Okay, right from here, I'm going to take now my right hand down and I slide it away. I open and I might come up to my left toes, hands here, hand on the back of the head, look up and then just breathe into this. And you can move your hips again back towards your heels. Hold it back. Try to rotate your body. Now watch. This left hand's going to sweep around. Can you grab the ankle just for a little opener and stay five, four, three, two, one. Put your foot down. You didn't have to grab your foot. Come up. Take a breath in. 
hands down. Take left leg back, extend it, right leg back, and you're in plank and hold. Knees on the floor, chest and chin. Push with your toes, pull with your hand. Come up, mild cobra. Can you interlace your fingers? If you can, do it, pull it back. Float your heels, stay five. Draw your chin in, four, three, two, and one. Now I'm gonna flex my feet, put my feet down, knees down if you need it. Release my hands, hands down, head down. Push up and find crouching cat. And again, I'm gonna find my crouching cat. Okay, I'm here and I'm gonna hold five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna move back to a down dog. So my heels go down just for a moment, get a big stretch in your shoulders. Now bend your knees, lift your right hand, and it's the right foot steps out to runner's lunge. Left knee down, and I come up. And I breathe, right? Take a breath in, take a breath out. So I'm gonna just lean over, reach my hand kind of out, and I'm going to go forward, and then that's into the hamstring too. Forward, but it's at the angle. Two. Forward. Three. You can see I pick my toes up. Four. Pull them through your nose. Hold it. Just for a second. Hamstrings. Come forward. See if you can just come up. Hold here. Now I'm in my runner's lunge. Put your left hand out. Come on the ball of your foot. Rotate. Hand behind your head. And then you can add that lift. Now I'm going to sweep the arm down, plant the foot, bend, and see if I can grab and just open just for a second for five, four, three, two, one. Place it down. Hand, oops, come up. Whoop. Then hand down, hand down. Okay, extend the right leg, extend the left leg. And if it's in your practice, chaturanga. If you want, you can go back down, up, crouching cat, step or lift left hand, left, right. Inhale, lift your 10 toes. Exhale, fold deeper. Hands behind you, and then inhale, sweep up, and exhale to heart center. I'm gonna move on, okay? One more sequence. Inhale through the green zone. Exhale, I hinge, right? Now inhale, I lift my 10 toes. This time I'm gonna place my hands. I'm gonna step back. I find plank, hold five, four, three, two, and one, take a breath. If you'd like, move through Chaturanga. Find Crouching Cat, move to Down Dog and breathe. Now I'm gonna find Crouching Cat. I'm going to come up onto my left fingertips. I'm going to lift my left leg behind me and then open it. And then I'm gonna put my left toes on the floor and my right toes, and then I open. And then I reach, and this is my big side body. I go forward, back, two, back, three, back, four, back, five, back, six, back, seven, back, eight, back, nine, we have one more, 10, hold it, put your hand on your hip, left hip, and then bring your right hip to the floor, okay? And I will face front, now you stay right where you are. So I have my right leg bent, right hand out, and I'm gonna drop, take a breath in. Now I can lift and grab behind my knee. Okay, or I can grab my big toes and I'm going to extend 
and then bend and extend and bend. Now I can extend, and this is something a little new, swing the foot front and swing the foot open. This is left leg front, left leg open. I am rolling onto the right hip. One more. Now I stay open. You can see I'm lifted. Lift the arm. Five, four, three, two, one. Now I'm going to bend, put that leg behind, hands, right? Come up, and I'm in crouching cat again. Okay, so other side, I'm going to pivot my feet. I'm going to come up onto my right fingertips. Drop, feet are pivot. Now I'm going to add that arm, and I'm going to float forward, bend my knees. Two, this is really in your side body. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're doing two more. Come on. Nine. Let the head dangle. Ten. Hold it. Put your right hand down. Now I'm going to put my left hip on the floor. Okay, and I'm going to face front again. Left hip down, right foot out. Okay? Grab behind the thigh, left hands out. Maybe drop your head, release. If it's in your practice, grab your toes. And first you just extend and bend. Extend and bend. Extend. Now I'm going to just swivel it forward and back. Two, but the whole time I have a long belly and a strong back. I'm not rounding. So you got to decide whether the knee, behind the knee or the foot is better. One more. Now hold it. Drop the head. Now can you lift the hand? Say five, four, three, two, one. Okay, hand down, bend. Hand in hand. Pivot yourself around. Find crouching cat. Find down dog. Breathe into this. And then bend your knees. You're going to drop to your bottom and you're gonna slowly roll to your back. You can extend your arm and then roll to your back. So I'm gonna take my feet pretty wide. Okay, they're mat width. And I'm going to have the natural curve in my back so I'm not pelvic tilting so my back is flat. If you have a little lift, you wanna keep that lift. Reach your arms up, and make a, not squeeze, but this gentle fist, and then bring the arms kind of like in V for victory. Now, I want to keep the curve, but bring my right knee towards my left ankle, and the left knee drops out. And then windshield wiper back and forth. Now, when you drop your right knee in, so you drop it over the left, hold it there. Okay, try to keep moving your hip creases back. Can you lift your feet? Can you put your feet back down? Try it again. Lift your feet. This right hip crease is keeping moving that back. It's not popping up. Down. Take it up. Now take it down. Keeping that hip crease back. Try to go a little further. Keep those arms up. Breathe into this. Now come center. Now I'm dropping over to the right. Trying to keep the left hip crease moving back. Reaching the arms in opposition, broad back. Can I lift my feet? Can I lower? Can I lift my feet? Can I lower? Can I lift my feet? Can I lower? One more time. Lift your feet, lower, take a breath in. Keep the left hip crease moving back or right hip crease moving, or left hip crease moving back and press. Now take center. Okay, keeping the curve in your back. Can you bike? My hands are down by my sides. If I have the abdominal strength, I have the curve in my back. My stomach's pulling in, my ribs are pulling in, and I'm pedaling. Now let me go 10 more. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Grab both knees. Okay, open your knees. Freedom pose. You should feel the back of your head on the floor. I'm rocking side to side. You should feel your shoulder blades on the floor. I'm rocking side to side. And your tailbone. Hopefully you have a little curve in your lumbar spine, but not everybody does, right? Some people have a very flat back. But having a curve in your back, as long as it's not extreme, right? It's shock absorption for your spine. Take a breath in. Release down. Extend one leg and extend the other leg. And ask yourselves when you're here, is the back of your head on the floor? Is your shoulder blades on the floor? Are you in a natural curve? Do you have a little lift in your lumbar spine, but your tailbone is on the floor? And can you feel the breath in your belly? I would like you to take a big breath in and exhale as long as you can. Now we'll kick, quicken the breath. Inhale. breath in and let it go. Roll over, so maybe extend your left arm, roll to your left, make your way to a seated position. Sitting up nice and tall, right? Breath in, breath out, right? Another day. So each day we wake up, we wake up to something new, something we totally don't expect, right? Because our days are kind of like that. We're living day to day. Our normal routines have changed. We'll come back to something like that. Hands to heart, hands to third eye, hands to all that's above. Lightning me bows to lightning me. Namaste.